morning and happy Monday to all of your sunshiny faces. So guys, we just got back from the grocery stores and I wanted to do my haul, um, my grocery haul for this week, which is kind of crazy because we ended up spending about 200 or so. But <laughs> we did buy the gigantic thing of paper towels again. We also got a new coffee maker and then also this um, spatula thingy. So those were like things we bought with the grocery money because we had actually extra grocery money which was nice um not the paper towels those were a necessity but it was we really only have to buy it like every six weeks or so i think um because the last one lasts us about six weeks we probably go through about two rolls a week and there's 12 huge rolls in the big thing we bought which i think was like 13 or dollars or something like that so it's actually a pretty good price for an entire lasting us an entire like about six weeks or so so, um, there's also a lot of stuff too that we bought that was like my mom's lunch kind of stuff. Like she got soups and a few other things too for herself for lunch and like other snacky stuff. So it's kind of a two week grocery haul, I guess, because for the most part, a lot of this stuff will last us two weeks. Um, and then some of the other stuff too probably won't, but like I ha I got um, a 10 or a five pound thing of ground beef, which it was $10, it was $1.99 a pound. And that should, I should have like probably one or two pounds left over as well um, that I won't be using this week. So that should be fine. And then I also bought a nine pound thing of chicken breast, which was I think $1.49 per pound. I got about five or so pounds, um, I think, or a little bit more, I think it was. And so um, for the most part, um, that I'll be using for two meals this week and then the ground beef I'll be using for two meals as well this week but I should have extras of the ground beef left over and then to just most of the other stuff all the produce that we picked up this week which was over half of our haul which you guys will see in a second um, was all on sale except for the mushrooms mushrooms I needed this week for one of the recipes so I picked that up I will link down below all the recipes that I'm using for this week's recipe meal plan my mom also got stuff for breakfast for one day and then also she got um, English muffins for herself like for the week she got bacon and cinnamon rolls for like a breakfast on Sunday or Saturday or something like that that's what I'm assuming that I was for and then I also kind of stocked up on pasta because they had some different types of pasta on sale at Caputo's for 99 cents so I got three different kinds so that was an extra three bucks you know just kind of adding stuff on but I'll share the whole haul with you guys for this week and um, let you guys know or let you guys see it pretty much starting off over here I was telling you guys this is kind of leaky so I don't want to take the whole thing out but I I got a little bit over five pounds if you guys can see in there um 5.69 pounds for nine dollars and five cents it was a dollar just about under a dollar sixty per pound and then also the ground beef which like i said was 199 it, it worked out to be about 10 bucks or so for the big thing of ground beef which i last time froze most of the portions of this i also still have some left over but i wanted to get a brand new thing and then also too um i prefer to use more of the lean stuff but it's not bad for the price per pound then for the side salads for this week, I got romaine lettuce, I got cucumbers, I also got avocados for myself for guacamole and avocado toast for breakfast. There's two zucchinis in here for organic pears, a thing of organic cauliflower for steaming for side dishes. I got four green bell peppers for dinners this week, one recipe calls for it broccoli for steaming i think it might be organic um and then i also got two things of gala apples which were like a dollar 69 for a three pound bag i'm planning on making probably some applesauce with the extra one then i also got on the vine tomatoes i got some spinach for also to go in the salad eight pound bag of oranges which again was a huge stock up price but it was only three bucks for the big thing and then like i was saying too i got the mushrooms which were not on sale this was on sale my mom likes to use it with like chicken and stuff like that so um that was extra even though normally we have leftover salads from dinner, she got one of these. It was only 69 cents. And then the thing of grapes, which are 99 cents per pound, and a thing of strawberries for everybody. And then for myself, I also got some raspberries and blackberries, which were on sale. They were super cheap. They were like a dollar something, but it was a little bit cheaper. And then also over there, I got four things of the organic grape tomatoes because in the ad, it actually didn't say they were organic, but they were 79 cents each, which was a really great price, especially for the organic ones. So I picked up four. I didn't think it was going to be the organic kind. Time, but when I got there I saw that it was so I ended up picking up four normally I get two but I got more um, and then also organic Yukon potatoes red potatoes and I believe that is kind of it for all of the produce for this week 
and then um this is all the non-produce stuff as you guys can tell we also are out of sandwich bags these normally last us about two or two or more weeks so that was kind of another thing that was probably like two or three bucks my mom's ham for sandwiches and stuff like that these i needed this week for a recipe i was making frozen corn and frozen peas and then also the biscuits which i'm making a chicken or crock pot chicken pot pie i guess kind of thing cinnamon rolls for my mom along with the bacon she also got waffle cones i guess for ice cream or something wheat thins aldi brand wheat thins and then also she got some ice cream i guess in there guys i don't really know we're out of french vanilla creamer so i picked up some of those my mom's for yogurts and then she also got some chicken salad i believe to go with the crackers and then like i was telling you guys too this was only three bucks but we only have one turner and a lot of times it's dirty so it was a smart idea to pick up another one it was also pretty cheap her english muffins for breakfast colby chip Colby Jack cheese, um, which is my mom's. Again, I think for crackers and stuff like that. I need some mozzarella cheese for one of the recipes I'm doing this week. And then as I was telling you guys last week, it's actually cheaper for me to pick up the deli sliced cheese instead of buying all these pre-packaged sliced cheese because it's $1.99 for a half of a pound. Whereas at Caputo's this week, I was able to pick up um, a little bit over a pound for $4.43, which is works out to be about the same price plus it's the fresh deli sliced cheese. And then the Swiss cheese which was actually even cheaper it's normally $5.99 at Caputo's it was on sale for $2.99 and we picked up a little bit over a pound again here again the same price at Aldi $1.99 for a half a pound this ended up working to be up working to be a dollar cheaper if I would have picked up two of theirs so that was a good deal blue corn chips for myself for like guacamole and cheesy nacho stuff my dad's yogurt um and then two I don't even know guys their their snack stuff drives me crazy but they got um fruit grain bars peanut butter bars pop tarts that stuff we're also out of sugar again normally not a buy that we normally do um but we did need it so that and then also too my dad got some uh dressing i needed this for one of the recipes i'm doing this week hamburger buns i need for a recipe as well i'm doing a sloppy joe's um and then i got two or three things like i was telling you guys of like different pastas that they don't normally have at aldi and it was super cheap i also needed some penny pasta for again a recipe i'm doing this week and chicken broth and my dad got apple juice for my brother my mom picked up three things of soup also too i got a black bean that is down there a sweet corn because i normally like to have those on hand just in case for anything and um we don't have an, uh, i don't think we have any left anymore um and then also tomato sauce i picked up three of those i need again and also three cream of chickens i need for a recipe my mom got chicken salad and then also we're out of italian breadcrumbs which i needed for a recipe as well and then i got two lentil soups and two tomato soups for myself because i am going to plan on doing grilled cheeses for myself for lunch with tomato soup with the deli si style cheese because i hate 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 the pre-packaged sliced american craft kind of stuff i cannot stand it i only like deli cheese i know i'm a little bit picky about it but it just tastes like cardboard to me so i'm doing those with um this this sprouted wheat or this knock your sprouts off bread and then also the sandwich or the tomato soup so that's my favorite stuff i like those i'll probably end up making two or three for myself or something or probably two and have a soup for lunch um but yeah that is our haul and then also, too, we ended up picking up, like I was saying, the gigantic thing of paper towels, which this should last us for a month and a half. Um, or possibly even more. I don't remember when we ended up picking one up last. We also got this uh, coffee maker too. It is a 12 cup programmable uh, coffee maker. Ours is not programmable and so my dad has to wake up like super early in the morning to start the coffee and then make sure it's ready and everything like this. It was only $20 at Aldi which I thought was a pretty good price in this way too. My dad doesn't have to get up super early. We can also have the coffee ready and then also two guys the spout on our coffee pot is broken. I can show you. You'll have to excuse the mess because we just made coffee but um the spout on our coffee pot is broken it like i don't know broke off somehow so it doesn't pour out the best normally you end up spilling it <laughs> so it's definitely worth it to buy a new coffee pot that's also programmable and it's the other one is a 12 12 cup as well so it's perfect that was definitely a must buy and since it was on sale at aldi we ended up picking it up that is it for the haul this week we also got a normal 12 pack of water at aldi too which i think is like another two or three bucks or something like that but um that is everything for this week guys um i know it's kind of a lot but like my mom was saying too she was like well her stuff for the most part is like 
two weeks kind of everything she bought will last her two or two weeks or more um, and she got mostly like soups and like the chicken salad stuff and stuff like that for herself that are just little easy things that she can make too kind of the same with me I can make myself grilled cheese sandwiches and with the tomato soup and then I also got lentil soup for myself for lunch and then also too if I'm hungry during the day or for dinner too because everything that I'm making this week is non-vegetarian so I have to kind of have something else that I can eat for myself so like the avocados then I can make uh, you know guacamole or or like a nacho kind of spread thing or something like that for myself for lunch or snack or something like that too and then dinner and whatnot so that is the plan for this week for myself but um yeah like i said most of the stuff this week i won't really be able to enjoy with the rest of the family i am making like a chicken parmesan thingy um with uh pasta and so the pasta i could probably make separate for myself and then just everybody will put the chicken over it so that is the plan but um like i said mostly this week i can't eat anything that anybody else is having so i do have to have other options for myself which i which which i do <laughs> so anyways yeah guys um i gotta go and get all this stuff put away now so guys it is about uh 4 45 ish almost and um i was ended up getting every all the groceries and everything like that put away and i had one dinner from last week that i didn't finish or i didn't make um it was like a shrimp kind of thing it was with shrimp and broccoli and then you serve it over rice like a like a teriyaki kind of almost thing um or like stir fry i guess kind of um and then you serve it over rice and then i also made a zucchini side this is the shrimp in here with the broccoli and then that gets served over rice which is in here and then this is the zucchini tomato pasta or not pasta just like bake i guess um cheese bake that was the word i was looking for um and so that uh is i made it last week the same one pretty much but um i had some organic zucchini that i was going to use so i used some of those i used two of those and then a, like a half of a thing of um to grape tomatoes i think they were and so i'm um, gonna cut those in half and put it all in like a bake and now i'm gonna have some of that i don't think i'm gonna have a full on dinner for tonight because I had pizza we bought a deli pizza for lunch um and I had two pieces like not too long ago like maybe about two or something like that and so I'm not like super hungry right now um so I might just have some of that and then I'll probably be hungry again before I go to bed <laughs> So, yeah, um, but that is what is for dinner tonight, which is going to be really weird because, like, Matthew will get home from volleyball practice today at, like, 5.30. My dad has to leave at 5.30, so we have to eat at, like, 4.30 or, like, 5-ish, but then it has to stay warm enough for Matthew because it won't be home until 5.30. So it's, like, a balancing act of keeping stuff warm, but luckily all the meals that I'm making this week are all in the crock pot, so I don't have to really worry a whole ton about, like, trying to balance out, like, timing schedule and making sure everything's done and stays warm and stuff like that. Um, for the most part, it'll just stay in the crock pot and I'll leave it on keep warm until Matthew gets home and then he can eat as well so um not too much of a balancing act this week but it'll be weird because for the next I think my dad said like three or so weeks two or three weeks or maybe four I'm not sure um that my dad's working like night shift I guess because of a project that he has to get done and he can only be in the building at night um so he were he's gonna work for like from like five I think until like two in the morning or something or he I think he'll get there at like six or seven or something like that and then he'll work until two or something this is like six hours or more or something like that I'm not 100% sure how long it is but he's supposed to work like afternoons and then he also worked over this weekend too he worked on Saturday and Sunday d during the day um so yeah <laughs> but i think he said that he isn't working this weekend because of something going on but then he will be next weekend or i don't entirely remember but all i know is that my dad's work schedule is like weird too and then too about that matthew doesn't have a game this tuesday i do not believe but he has a game on Thursday, so tomorrow, I don't know if he has afternoon practice or not. He might be have morning practice, and if he does, then he'll be home on time for dinner. So, yeah, it's just crazy schedules and stuff like that. That's why the crock pot is literally my best friend, because I can just be like, okay, you know what? Dinner's ready, and it's in the crock pot. You eat when you can, <laughs> kind of thing. So, my crock pot is my best friend. Um, 
But yeah, I got the dishes put away and then, or the dishes, I got the food put away and I also did dishes and now um, I watched like two episodes of a Netflix show and then um, had my pizza during that time and then I came in here and peeled all the shrimp and took care of the shrimp which takes me normally about an hour because I deveined the shrimp and then doing all that, yeah, it normally takes me an hour. <laughs> so uh, by the time I was done with that, I let the shrimp saute, cut up the broccoli and steamed it and then cut up the... Um, zucchini and then threw that in the oven and then um cooked the shrimp so it sauteed or not sauteed it marinated for like about an hour that was the word i was looking for guys i keep coming up with the wrong words but anyway yes dinner's done and i'm going to eat so guys it is about 10 o'clock i am going to take a shower and go to bed because i am tired and um i had a pretty busy day today i ended up actually cleaning up the kitchen floor pretty much and over here too which there used to be like a basket of all of our like drinks and stuff like that over there like we had like sparkling waters and stuff like that I think it was and then too like there was like an old like two liter that was flat in there and stuff like that so we got rid of pretty much all of it and um except for the sparkling water which is in the closet where we keep the the Hi. pop and stuff and so it was just like a basket that kind of wasn't doing anything over there. So I cleaned that up. I swapped the floors in here. I vacuumed the floor in the living room all while watching the Cubs game, which they won 7-2 to two tonight. And um, I took care of all that stuff. And then I also cleaned the counter. Well, one of the two counters. <laughs> um, and I all the dishes are, those are all clean dishes. Well, clean dishes. They just have to be put in the dishwasher. Um, so I'm going to do that probably in the morning and yeah but and then i also took care of dinner and got all put away so it's like so clean in the kitchen right now it's funny but yeah so we watched the cubs game and now i'm going to go and take a shower and go to bed because i'm sleepy <laughs> and i didn't get a vlog up but i will make I will make sure that I get one or get them up tomorrow because I don't have anything going on in the morning. Um, today I was planning on it, but because we had to go grocery shopping, I didn't have enough time and then I had to do dinner and everything. So I will talk to you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. So bye guys. It's the whole graduation story. <laughs> It was kind of crazy, but um, I told you guys in yesterday's vlog that my cousin was graduating. And so this morning when we woke up, right, we left at nine o'clock and um, we, we left the house at nine o'clock. It's like two and a half hours away or so. It's about the same distance to my grandparents' house, which is not her related family. Um, so it's about the same distance though as when we went to my grandparents.